Okay, so one of the things that I wanted to show you guys before I get started is, here's my here's my screens for that I'm, that I'm using right now. I've got two brand new ones, and I've got two used ones. So something that's cool about silk screening is that you can reuse your screens. You don't have to buy new screens every time. So if you're done with a project and you know you're done with it, then you can reuse your screen. So check this out. There's this stuff, photo emulsion remover. You label all your bottles correctly. Make sure you, that's, that's very, very important. This stuff's not, not, not expensive. It goes in a squirt bottle, but check it out, watch this. So I have one of my original knife crime scr screens. Actually, let's use the scissors one. My scissor crime. Check it out, watch what happens. So I spray it. Give it a nice healthy spray. And then you're gonna wanna let it sit for a second. Let's go over here, sorry. Spray both sides. Let it sit for a second. Give it a light scrub. All right, so you can already see it going away. And then what you wanna do is you take it over to your water hose and spray the crap out of it. Check, check this out. Boom, re, re, ready to reuse. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll show you guys how to put photo emulsion on the screen and then I'll show you how to burn the image onto the screen and then how to print the image onto your uh, materials. What is up everybody? How you doing? I'm going to show you how to do the screen printing process. We're going to continue this video. I don't know where I'm at at this point in the video. I just know that I had to film it in pieces. So uh, my apologies if it's, I don't know if it sounds weird, but um, at this point I've got my screen, my emulsion liquid, and I've got my squeegee. I'm going to pour some of it on here. I'm going to make a thin coating across the front and then across the back probably squeeze it across there twice. I want an even thin coating. I'm gonna then take it into the room and put it in a closet with a fan, let it dry. I usually let mine dry overnight so that they're very, very dry. I've already got one dried for this video, so I'll show you in just a minute what I do with it once it's dried. So let me show you how I do this. Um, it is a little sloppy sometimes. Sometimes I do get a little more emulsion liquid on there that I need, but you can always put it back in the jar. If you keep these cooled, it's cold outside right now, as you can see, I'm wearing hoodies. Um, if you keep it cool, this will last a while. This is a very small jar of this stuff. It wouldn't last a long time anyways, but it's a green liquid. It smells kind of funky, but I'm used to the smell. Kind of like it even at this point, because it means I'm getting work done. But uh, let's see, pour a little bit on there like this. And then just kind of you don't want too, too much, but you don't want too little either. You gotta have a, a it's gotta be coated all the way across the, uh, your screen. So this, I may end up having to put a little bit more on here. I don't know yet, let's see. Maybe not, maybe not. Yeah, a little bit more would probably help just to make sure that the, that the coating is thoroughly done. Let's see, let's just be, it's better safe than sorry. I can always put a little bit back. This stuff is light sensitive though. So you don't want to, you don't want to have it out in the light too much because then it'll, it'll get, you know, it'll start to, uh, I don't know what the process is actually called to be honest with you. Uh, I should know more than this. I do this a lot. I've been screen printing for a long time. All right. So we got one side done. Let's do the other side. So we got it. All right, let's see if we, we need to see this, this spot over here is, there we go. So let's get the squeegee on there. All right, now I'm gonna do one more pull across. Uh, so hold on, I see there's a, there we go, I got a little line on here. I'm gonna do one more pull on the underside. I like to make sure it's a very thorough and very even coating on this. So now you see, I'll take the excess emulsion liquid. It's not much. 
you can just scrape it back into the jar if you can get some in there. I, I a little bit didn't make it in, but it's all right. I like to save as much materials as I can. You know, every bit of money that's saved helps. Make sure you wash that off as fast as you can. Like I said, this is light sensitive liquid, so I want to get this inside and get it into the uh, closet as fast as I can. But you can see it's a that's a nice it's a nice coat. So oh, I don't know what that was. Probably a firework. But anyways, this will be dry in the morning, and I'll show you in a few minutes of what I do with it once it's dry. Okay, so I am going to now burn this image into the screen. So what you want to do is you want to take it, put it on the back of the screen, like like so. Make sure that it's the you know facing the a mirror image, so you want it backwards basically. So that when you flip it over, you can see the image the right way. You take it, and I have a little table over here. You set it on the table, and I've got a 500 watt lamp right here. And I get a piece of glass, and I'll put a piece of glass on it, and then, boom, you leave it on for about seven, eight minutes, and then everything that is on black should burn into the screen, and then we'll rinse it off, and I'll show you how it looks. This is going to be, I'm going to be making the patches with this one, so uh, we'll see how it turns out in a few minutes. All right, it's been about eight, nine minutes. I'm going to turn this off. Wait a second, let it cool. I can pick the glass up. All right, let's put this away. Got to put the glass in a place where it doesn't gonna fall and break. I have a wooden box sitting over here next to all my shirts and stuff, paintings, all that jazz. Look at all this. Work, 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 work. This is the mind of a maniac right here. Look at all the spray paint. Come on, bro. All right, now, okay. Watch, this should look a little different, watch. Okay, can you see that? Well, now watch what happens when we go spray this off with a water hose. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute the volume a little bit because it's gonna be really loud. So I'll be back with y'all in just one second, but I'll show you what it looks like when I'm doing it live. All right, now after just a couple of minutes of spraying, boom, look, you got your screen. Okay, working on my second sheet of patches. So I got this one, I'm gonna lay it on here. Do the same thing we did before. And uh, we're working on getting this stuff. Uh, we'll have patches and buttons and pens and all that jazz for punk rock clothing battle vests and such. I can do any of this stuff. I can do any band you want me to do. So uh, yeah, um, I got plenty, plenty more coming. So just stay tuned. This is fun, man. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. It's weird. I've never done a video like this before. So I'm a little nervous. Pardon that probably terrible editing. Um, this is all done on a GoPro strapped to my chest. So <laughs> All right, there you got it. Boom. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Let's see who's in the car. Who's in the car? Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Pretty wife. Crazy baby. Uh, going to the grocery store. All right, folks, we let this dry. And then, uh, yeah, make some patches for some pants and some jackets. Aye. Aye. Okay, so we're going to print some patches real quick. I'm going to go with two things. This, this, I didn't realize this screen needs to be redone. I messed up on this. So I'm going to print it once and see how it looks. Uh, you know, you always need to do a tester anyways. See how the, see how that came out. And uh, if these ones came out okay, I'll print a couple of times and I'm going to end up having to redo this one. Uh, I wasn't very careful with it, but this one came out fine. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to use a silver ink and then probably a white ink. Probably go silver 
probably only do silver even. I like the silver on gray. I think that looks awesome. Uh, eventually, I need to get some red ink so that I can do some more um, red on black. You want to make sure you have a very flat, hard surface. So I put a piece of MDF wood underneath this so it's real flat, real hard, and solid. Get yourself some paper towels. Set it over here on the side. Take your ink. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put the ink on this side, and I'm going to pull it across this way on both of them okay and then i'm going to pull the, the screens down and do one here so let's go ahead and do silver ink i like the way silver ink prints better it just looks a little better it prints a little smoother the white ink is a little more clunky i don't really know why that is i'm going to try to get some more white ink soon see if it's just that batch of the ink that i got but this silver is beautiful so we shouldn't have any problems here give it a little mix make sure it's nice and even I say silver, but this is more like gray to me than it is anything anyway, so. But this should look awesome. Doesn't take much either. You just put a little ink on there, pull it over twice, and then you're good to go. All right. All right. All right. And so, I will take the excess ink. I love this little uh, thing I've got here. It's like a, dude, I don't really even know what this damn thing is called to be honest with you, but it sure does come in handy. I've used it to make a lot of stuff. Uh, let's see if this pulls it. I don't think this is gonna be enough, but we're gonna try. It might be. Oh, it might be. Oh, I think we got it. I think we got it. All right. Oh, heck. I think we got it. And I think we got some leftover ink. All right. You ready to see what this one looks like? All right. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Got us some punk rock patches, folks. Oh, this is coming out pretty good. Not terrible. First batch of patches ain't going to look the best, but it ain't going to look the worst. I definitely... Give some of these away since they're not the best looking ones. All right, let's see. I bet these ones come out better since I knew I needed to work on it a little bit better. Let's find out. Let's what? Let's clean up a little pre-clean. Never hurt anybody. So let's scrape this ink back in the jar. Save materials, saves money. You save money, you can charge less. Your customers will come out happy when they get won't have to pay $7 for one patch because you were able to save a little bit of money. That makes a world of difference, at least in my opinion it does. Anytime you're able to save your customers some money, you'd be better off doing so, you know? Now's the moment of truth. Let's see what we got here. Oh, those came out great. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Look, I did a back patch. It's a Misfits back patch. You know, this stuff's in, imperfect when you make this stuff out of your garage. And I'm still practicing and learning. So a lot of times we'll get something that doesn't look great. And I'll, I'll use it for something, you know. Uh, some of these patches they don't look the best, but they'll get used. They will get used. I don't. I don't waste. I don't waste uh, materials. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay. 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 So sorry, my garage is a mess right now. My apologies. Anybody's watching this. Uh, so I started doing some uh, patches and whatnot. I got this sheet of red patches done. I'll be posting more pictures of my patches and things. But I wanted to show y'all real quick. I'm gonna do Buddy's shirts. Uh, I'm giving him a free little peep shirt because he's out of the country and he orders some stuff from me and it costs a lot to ship it. So, taking care of my dog. He also wanted the uh, the most controversial design that Knife Crime has, which is the uh, BDSM design. So, we're gonna print these real quick. So, I do this by hand. Uh, there might be a better way to do this somewhere. I don't know, I'm not really concerned about it because I like the way I do it. This is all art for me. Um, you know, 
They're saying about this little peep shirt. I didn't charge him for it. He didn't ask me for it. He's just a fan of little peep and he's buying some stuff from me. So I'm sending him one because I like to be nice to people. It's not hard to do these shirts. It's getting the designs ready and getting all the uh, supplies and stuff. That's what's difficult. And this is way more ink than I need, but I like to be thorough with the print. Uh, as I'm sure you guys are well aware, if you do any screen printing, you, you know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just making sure there's plenty of ink on there. Uh, but the peep one, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use a little bit of silver in that peep pink. Let's see how this looks. Let's see how much ink is in here. No, I'm gonna go peep pink. I'm just gonna go pink. Let's go. Look. Ooh, he's gonna be the last person to get the peep pink. Oh, that, that should be enough, I think. But, uh, He's gonna be the last person with this because I'm not making any more of it. Contrary to popular belief, I am doing this because it's artwork for me. Let me go pull it down. Now this is a small design, uh, so it doesn't need a lot of, uh, you know, repulls. But boom, that one's done. You don't have to hang out while I clean the equipment. Why would you want to do that, right? Look at that. Look at little peep. What's up, Mr. Gus? How are you, sir? R.I.P. Little Peep, man. That's my dog right there. Out here living his best life. And then he got taken from us all too early, huh? Check that out. Little Peep, everyone. Shoink. Look at that. Perfection. Look at that. That. Just badass. All right, folks. That is my my screen print process, man. I'll make more videos if y'all want. You just let me know in the comments. Do you want more videos like this? You want to see me do more paintings? You want to see me do more screen printing? I am a man of the people. I will do what y'all want. We got more patches coming. Check that out. Juice World, Lil Peep, uh, City Morgue, Nirvana, Suicide Boys. Got some more Rancid coming. Got some uh, The Unseen, uh, Conflict, Rancid Life Won't Wait. More Pen Pennywise Tragedy, Alkaline Trio. I got a bunch of stuff coming. We got uh, Spirit Box coming. All kinds of stuff. So sit, stay tuned, man. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will see y'all later. Peace.